If you like the content, and I know you will, tap that and donate to this channel to support the cause and to keep the information coming. And with that, let's get into today's video. Everyone talks about wanting, you know, desire is not enough. There are many times that you want to be something, do something, and follow your passion, all that other crap, but desire is not enough. You've got to have a game plan. And more importantly, you have to have some serious ass determination. You really, really have to think about what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, and how you're going to make this thing do what it do. Because if you don't, you really will not be able to get that um, result that you want. I get a lot of email about you know people wanting to be successful, people wanting to do certain things, have certain things, build businesses, separate themselves from that job, have that life of design and intent to do something a little different, to be more than they currently are. And the only thing that's in their tank is desire. That's it. That's the only thing in the tank is desire. Desire really will not get you where you need to be without determination, without tenacity. I'm going to tell this story. Because I think this is relevant to many of the things that we have going on today. Many people are looking to have this wonderful, amazing life with little to no effort. I was putting together some uh, copy for a group I'm in. And I was thinking, everyone's saying the same thing. Buy high. I mean, buy low, sell high, or get in on the ground floor. What if you can't do that? I really think sometimes you're in a situation where you will have to create your own opportunity. You will have to build something that's not there. I understand using systems, and let me be really clear about third-party marketplaces. There are many, many people who want to be successful with eBay and Amazon because it's a system. I'm not going to say it's easy because it's not easy, but it's a system. And in that system, once you learn that system, you can make some money. The problem is that system is highly volatile. Now, I look at what I did with the storage auction business. It was a highly volatile market. There were no rules. Well, there was unwritten rules because in my video the other day I was talking about don't hate the player, don't hate the game many of the rules that will bite you in the ass, that will cause you misery that will make you lose money are unwritten and whenever I mention a social issue in the video and the video's 8 minutes, 10 minutes and you want to hunt on that and hijack the thread with that bullshit I'm deleting your comment and moving on because one of the things that I want is for people to be successful and if you care more about people who are doing things that don't matter to you, people in the news because they have more fame than you, then you care about your own sorry ass life. No fucking wonder that you are where you are. No wonder things aren't going well for you because you put your energy in the wrong spaces. I'm just saying. If you get sidetracked by, quote, social issues and your personal issue is janky and your personal issue has been janky for a while, think about that. Really think about that. Think about why your personal issue is janky, why you're going through these trials and tribulations. Well, I wanted to be successful in the storage auction business when I get into it. I really wanted to be. In the beginning, the first few months, that wasn't working. It wasn't working. I was frustrated. I had people playing games with me. I lost a lot of freaking money buying loser units. It was horrible. It was terrible. And this was day after day, week after week. But I saw the opportunity. 
I saw the way that I could make money, but I just didn't figure it out. And everyone told me, don't do this, just do it part-time, don't try to do it full-time in the break yard, all of this stuff. And then it hit me where I should go. Everyone was saying, don't do it full-time. I decided to do what everyone else was not doing. There was only a handful of people with stores when I was in the game. I mean, there's probably tons and tons of people with stores now. But the thing is, a store allowed you to sell merchandise at a higher price because of the presentation factor. So we got on the journey, my partner and I, of going full time. And that is when we started to be successful. We were doing it part time. And that's something that happens to many people. They'll do something part-time and expect full-time results. And there's, for some reason, they're upset when those full-time results don't happen. As if that is, like, surprising that you're not getting full-time results from part-time, half-effort, half-ass efforts. I mean, really, you got to think about that. You really have to think about that. So we went and did the thing that everyone else said don't do. Now, for years, on this channel and other places and the groups I've started, I've been saying, do your own thing. Build your own website. And people are like, oh, it's so hard. It's terrible. Now, here's the story. No, the storage art thing wasn't the story. Here's the story. I've got a student, a student of the game. And this student started watching me in 2009 and just kind of played around. But for some reason... This year, the student decided to take it up a few notches. Quit their job. I do not recommend you quit your job like this person did because it was kind of crazy. It was like the news reporter that smokes weed. It was it was kind of like, you know, he told me it was kind of like that. And he went home and he hit up. Now, he was already hustling part time. He was already hustling part time. So, essentially, it got better once he went full-time because he had a part-time income and let me be really really straight up with this uh this person has been hustling on the side for a good three to four years uh i think he told me he'd been a long time supporter three four years something like that so bought my book not the new stuff the old stuff got um the journey to storage auction success and just you know he said he used the principles of craigslist some of the ebay stuff and he just went full time and this is the thing this is the story this is the beautiful part he said in one day of hard hustling he made as much money as he made in two weeks on his job and he was pissed at himself for not taking the leap earlier now i will say uh, this person was in a better situation because they had a hustle going. It makes a big difference. They weren't starting from scratch. And he was able to leverage and take his infrastructure up a little higher because he took a chance. He took a big-ass chance. Well, I, can, I guess if you already have a hustle going, it's one thing... Uh, I would say one of the reasons that many people can't expand the hustle that they have is because they have a job. And also because they are really, really happy with that job or they like the benefits of that job. So it kind of helps them live, but it holds their hustle back. So once that was gone, his hustle seriously, seriously uh, flourished. I mean, it became, like, remarkable because he sent me screenshots of the money and stuff he was making. And, uh, you know, everyone's like, what are you doing? What are they doing, Glenda? I want to know what they're doing. He does Amazon. He does eBay. He does Craigslist. And this is where he makes most of his money. He created a product, very simple product. You, Everyone, I mean, he created a product. And that product is responsible for 60% of his profits each month. So he's created eBay, one source of income, Amazon, another source of income, his product, another source of income, Craigslist, another source of income. So he has four income streams. And, uh, you know, 
he was just like he does eBay begrudgingly because for some of the stuff he likes and he put it he likes that's the only way you can get rid of them so essentially it is just not enough to desire something or to want it you have to be determined to make it happen that's where you have to be so just some food for thought for the day something to put in your tank and with that if you like the content and i know you do donate tap that it'll feel good tap it it'll feel good it'll feel so good all right this is glendon i'll see you on the good side